Scorpio, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 25th of February. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using three of my decks this week. The Teacup Tarot, the Time to Shine Oracle and the Mini Messages Oracle. So starting off with your overall energy, the Page of Coins brings in a message. They are messengers. They all have an envelope on the card. And the Page of Coins says, do the study, do the research. You need to find out information this week. So you need to be finding out, reading things, researching. Your help or your hurdle, the Empress comes in and says, yes, it's time to get busy. Busy on those new ideas, busy on those new projects. This is very much a card of doing, not just thinking about doing, intending to do or hoping to do. Look, she's got her apron on, she's got her sleeves rolled up and she's busy on this creative project. So new ideas, new projects, new ways forward, take action. What do you need to focus on? The six of coins shows up with gifts of abundance from the universe. This is lovely. These are things you've been hoping for and working towards and dreaming of actually coming into view. She thought it was raining, but no, these are pennies from heaven. Here they are dropping down right in front of her. So stay awake for these new opportunities. How can you help yourself? We've got the life experience card. This is about you making positive changes now. Learning from the past and taking those pearls of wisdom with you. Now on the card look, the sandcastle that she's made has washed away. But she's learned from that, learned what hasn't worked, learned what works well, taking all that life experience with her and making those positive changes. So very much learning from the past. Pulling it all together, the ego card says, leave behind anything that's weighing you down, holding you back. So this could be fear, guilt, self-sabotage, um, anything that self-criticism, that's a good one to leave behind. And we can see that's just what she's done on the card look. All those heavy things like stress, irritation, frustration, they're all in this bucket here because she's picked up the balloons which are so much lighter. And look, the road in front of her is clear now, focusing on self-belief, confidence, positivity, and allowing those to lead the way. The outcome is lovely. The Ten of Pencils says, expect the situation to improve. This is you climbing this ladder of success. And with every step on this ladder, things getting better, even better, and so much better. So I'm much improving in situation coming in for you Scorpio so just looking at the tarot cards to start with study research and gathering information is key for you this week then getting busy based on that information and starting these new plans and these new ideas there are new opportunities coming in this could be connected with finance um, it might be connected with your job, with your home life, with your career, with an area of study. Something to do with home, family and work life. Time to make those positive changes. Learning from the past, taking all that wisdom with you. Focus on confidence, focus on self-belief and expect the situation to improve. So let's get some clarity. The Four of Wisdom with this page of coins here says, show leadership qualities. This is the Emperor card, stepping up. This is you. Getting organised, making plans. That's what we're saying here. 
staying disciplined. In an instant, the emperor is ready to go because everything is meticulously planned and ready in advance. And that's just what you need to do. Do the research, do your homework, get your plan together. The Three of Thought is a lovely card. It says, trust that this, the situation will improve. This is very much a card of healing and moving on. And here's the moving on. The Six of Thought is exactly that. This is I love it when the cards do this. The Six of Thought, it literally says, time to move on. Enjoy an improving situation. It might be you going on holiday, maybe. But here we have the card of an improving situation and here we have the card of healing and moving on and here we have the card that says both moving on and enjoying the uh, a better much improved situation and the other thing as well it's you moving on and feeling good how can you help yourself do the groundwork make sure that you've planted those seeds, put those plans into action, even if it's the first steps. And then this card says, no need to worry. The success will follow later on. Now on the card, look, she's planted these little seeds. She can't make them grow any faster. Just needs to water them and know the success will follow. So you need to get organised, you need to do your homework, you need to get the groundwork done. Pulling it all together, clearly going to do all of that. That's 21 of Wisdom, the world card in traditional tarot. It's the end of one cycle and it's the beginning of another. It's advancement, it's success, it's celebrating the completion of one thing. And now, where to next? Where to on this next venture? And your final outcome card is lovely. We've got a double message here, card 15. So it's in capital letters for you this week. Let go of old fears and doubts, especially if it's anybody else's. It's time for you to step forward with confidence. So your card from the mini messages is from the action suit. And this says move forward. Time to make your positive move now. That's literally just what we were saying here. This is lovely. This is very much a reading of you sorting out what you want to take with you and what you want to leave behind. So you're going to do your homework. You're going to get all your information. Get busy. When these new opportunities show up, make your positive moves forward. It's time to do something new. It's learning from the past. It's learning from experience. Leaving those experiences behind. Some of them. Things that you've learnt your lesson. You've been there. You've done that. You've got the T-shirt. So now it's healing, moving on, a detailed plan of where you want to go. And there you are moving in that direction, making these positive changes and celebrating success. So a real week of spring cleaning for you, Scorpio. Fantastic week coming up. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing and supporting my channel. It really does make a, such a difference. So thank you for that as well. So look after yourselves this week. Take care and I'll see you here again soon.